forging cyber. Forging cyber security. Secure Ninja. Hey everyone, I'm Alicia Webb with Secure Ninja TV and I'm here again at Fed Cyber 2014. This year we are in Tyson's Corner right outside of DC and I am speaking with Wynn Schwartow. He is the CEO of the Security Awareness Company. How are you today? Waking up. It's afternoon finally. I know, right? Well, they've got lots of coffee here, so I've that's been, been good I've been for me. It. Right? Me too. It's pretty good stuff. And you're, you're going to need it right now because you're about to go on speaking that's next. That's what they tell me. Yeah. That's what they tell you? Yeah, that's what they say. Do you know what you're going to talk about? Have you thought about it? Or? I've been working on the presentation for the last couple of hours. Um, I'm going to... Matt asked me to speak about the history of information warfare because I got involved in it like 25 years ago quite oh, wow. by accident. So I'm going to kind of talk about that a little and then uh, the mistakes that we've made, what we've done wrong, and uh, introduce a new concept I've been working on for about 10 years to redefine network security instead of in digital terms to do them in analog terms. Okay, that's interesting. And there is no, I don't have a 30 second soundbite for it yet because what I've done, and I'm not, I'm not trying to take credit, I hate saying I've done. When you start thinking about all the different aspects of security and everything we've done wrong, for some reason we as an industry keep choosing to repeat the same mistakes over and over again, and Albert Einstein said that's the definition of an insanity, which I completely agree with. So I started looking at things very differently, and I grew up an analog hardware engineer, right. so I can have this different view of the universe. And I sat down for a few years and allowed that kind of, and so I'm gluing together various pieces of ideas that really have very little to do with traditional computers or computer science. And I take examples from the steam engine era, okay. from the, and uh, from my old field in acoustics, and start gluing some ideas together in order to help people hopefully review how they look at network security and maybe they'll get some insights from it. Interesting. Now, going from digital to analog sounds like a step backwards, but you're saying it's actually an advancement to the future of computing? I, I would love to be able to make that claim, but I can't do that yet. It, it's a bunch of ideas I've got that I've been, I've been working on it really over 10 years, and it's finally, I finally got the math all sorted out and going to be publishing uh, sometime, hopefully in the beginning of next year, right before RSA, if I'm lucky. Oh, oh excellent. Again for them. <laughs> Absolutely. Maybe we'll uh, catch up with you and talk to you at RSA about um, what advancements have been made. Well, the book will be called Analog Network Security. Just keep it simple. Excellent. Now, tell me, what was uh, security like? Cybersecurity, as much as of their as much as there was of it 25 years ago. Well, you, you, I look at it architecturally. What you had was over there behind that wall or that piece of glass was a big box and it was blue, right? And a wire came down to this thing which was thick and heavy and green that had 80 by 25 characters on it. Security was easy. Right. Real super right. simple. Identity management. And then we decided to network everything together and everything went to hell in a handbasket. And we, <laughs> and I'll, basically, if you look at the history of security and the history of technology and computer sciences, the current mo models that we're using still are predominantly based upon a single model developed in 1972. Wow. We have not made much progress. Wow. That's an interesting perspective, definitely. Now, most of the audience here at FedCyber is federal government. Are they? They are. Okay, then. I can't tell you who they work for, but we know they work for somebody. Okay. Now, why is your topic important to get in front of this audience? I have no idea. Matt told me to do it. <laughs> um, it, it whether you're in the Fed space or in the private space or at home, security, safety, privacy, it's all, we're all in this together one way or another. Mm -hmm. So it's, I find these, for me, very valuable to flush out my own thinking and keep myself on track and look for arguments against what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. I, I look for people to find holes in my arguments and I consider an event successful when they do. Right. So the um, the attendees are not only going to gain insight from your talk, you're actually looking to gain some insight from the feedback they well, have. speaking should be a very selfish exercise. It should it be all about me and learning from the audience. Right. <laughs>
Yeah, definitely. Well, good. So glad that you're here to contribute to Fed Cyber, and thanks for sharing some Thank information you. with us. Thanks for watching Secure Ninja TV. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel so you don't miss any of the other great interviews we've shot here at Fed Cyber. We also cover conferences all over the world and provide a lot of other really great cybersecurity resources. Also, follow us on Twitter, like us on Facebook, and even check out our Instagram. I'm Alicia Webb. Thanks for watching. Secure Ninja TV is brought to you by SecureNinja.com, a world leader in cybersecurity training and certification. Our master instructors will help build you into a highly skilled and marketable security professional. Secure Ninja, forging cybersecurity experts.